absolutely blown away. My expectations have been exceeded. Just as wacky as the last one. Love it. So I was really excited to see where the storyline went in Honolulu. I'm loving the new location. It's such a nice uh, change of scenery compared to an underworld, Kamurocha, Japan. You know, this thing's a lot more vibrant and colorful and exciting. Bit of a surprise hearing English voices. Oh my God, a stranger! <laughs> but in a good way. In the previous games, you'd hear the ambient noise of the chatter of the civilians now being Japanese, and now you can hear it in English, and it was just a different vibe. What's <laughs> up, dude? Yeah, I liked it a lot. There was just so much to do. You know, you could sort of like go out into, into the city, you could do karaoke, you could do like a crazy taxi inspired like food delivery mini game. That was really fun. For the mini games, like, it's one of the things Yakuza excels in. There's so many, they're so vibrant, and because they buy Sega, you can see plenty of references. You end up playing Virtua Fighter for like a few hours, forgetting what game you're playing. Isn't that what friends are for? Like, I love Kiryu and Ichiban. They're my favorite characters. Hero returns, which I, I just I just love how mental he is. He gets shot and he's not even worried about that, he's more worried about his hair. Just a wacky character, I just, I just love the guy. The world seems very much realized in line with the others. Moving in combat to line up your area attacks was fantastic. Really nice to see how our two main leads can uh, fight differently. So you can either choose whether you go Kiryu, full brawl, or because of Ichiban's imagination, like turn base or both. So having that ability to switch between the two definitely spice things up. Everything is like laid down like so intuitively to the point where you're able to easily strategize and like plan your next move. And the combat system it just works so well because of it. The fighting is very insane and it's very fun and it just looks incredible. The graphics were so crisp and shiny. It definitely looks like a next gen game. You don't know what you're going to expect so you actually go into a sub story, a mission. Mood Whiplash is probably the best way I can describe it. One minute you're doing backflips over cars delivering pizza, the next you're helping someone with cancer. There's like no tonal dissonance, it all works. No way. Intensity in the story where they have all of the more serious aspects of the story but then you also then have the other side where it is it does wear its heart on its sleeve it's very goofy it's it can it doesn't take itself too seriously at times but when it does yeah that still hits i think because they've had the the goofiness aside to it it makes you it deals you to the characters more it feels like i'm gonna enjoy it just as much as i've enjoyed the rest of the series it is everything in the game